Mortgage rates across the world are on the up. Looking at the UK, the average mortgage rate has almost doubled in the year 2022, with the average cost of a two to five year fixed rate deal being around the 5% mark. As many homeowners face moving off their current fixed rate deals onto what is likely going to be a much higher rate mortgage, it begs the question, should you overpay on your mortgage? That's what we'll be looking at today. I'm Kozan from Financial Banders, helping you be better with your money. So just for clarity, when we are speaking about overpaying on our mortgages, we are talking about making additional payments on top of your current mortgage repayment plan. The main benefit of overpaying is that any additional money you contribute will be put towards the actual capital in the mortgage agreement. In this case, that would be the property. Compared to the normal repayment plan, the money you pay there is proportionally divided between paying off the capital and also the interest you owe the lender. By making it these overpayments, the amount of money you owe to the lender will depreciate a lot faster, making sure you own your own home faster as well as paying less interest over the course of your mortgage lifetime. If you look at this mortgage calculator provided by Money Saving Expert, we can see that in this scenario with a 300k mortgage across 25 years on a 5% interest, by contributing an additional £150 to your mortgage every single month, you will save almost £37,000 on interest payments and pay off your mortgage three and a half years earlier than originally planned. So as you can see, this can be a very powerful option. So for those that are able to, overpaying on your mortgage might be a worthwhile option to further secure your financial future. I've linked the calculator in the description box down below if you want to try it out and see how much you can save. Oh, and while you're down there, maybe hit the subscribe button too. So if this is something you are interested in, here are some main points to consider. The first one being is the opportunity cost. If you are putting extra money towards your mortgage, the money is essentially gone and cannot be recouped. Well, it technically can, but it will be a long and expensive process. So you do have to question, could that money be put to better use instead? Do you have any debt to pay off? Do you have a sufficient emergency fund? Is the money better off in a savings account? Or is it better off when it's contributed to your pension or investment instead? All these are very valid points to consider, and there are many other examples to consider too, but these are what I think are the key ones, especially the last two, when it comes to whether your money is better off in your savings, pensions, or investments accounts. Now, there is an answer to the question of whether you should overpay versus saving or investing. So if you want to take it from a completely mathematical and common sense point of view, there is a simple rule of thumb. If the mortgage rate is similar or higher than your saving rate or return on investment, then it makes sense to overpay. So for example, if the mortgage rate is 5% and the interest on your savings account is 2%, then it makes sense to overpay your mortgage than putting that money in your savings account. Because the interest you have to pay on your mortgage is a lot more expensive than the interest you gain from keeping that money in a savings account. So you want to pay off your mortgage as soon as possible. Looking at a different example, if your return on investment average is 7%, then it does not make sense to overpay your mortgage and your money is better off in your investment or pension because the rate of return on your investments exceeds your current mortgage rate. Now remember, this is what common sense tells us. However, there are cases when even if the rule of thumb tells us not to overpay, it might still be worth it. And we'll talk more on this a bit later on. Another thing to consider is to check if there are any penalties when it comes to overpaying. Most mortgage lenders have limits to which you can overpay or they completely disallow it. So before you do anything, make sure you check with your lender to understand all the conditions associated to overpaying. Breaching any of these limits will incur penalty fees, which are likely to totally negate any benefit of overpaying in the first place. So it's really important that you find this out first. And the last thing to consider is, do you have money or enough money in your emergency funds? Emergency funds are crucial to building your wealth. It's a safety net of money that you put away in an easy access account so you can dip into it if any unexpected costs occur. Now, this goes back to the point where if you put your money in your property, it's very difficult to get that money back. That's why it's really important to have a safety net of funds to protect yourself from any financial difficulty if you need cash unexpectedly. So those are the three points to consider. Opportunity cost, penalty fees and emergency funds. Now let's look at the pros and cons. Starting with the pros. First up is that you can save lots of money on interest payments. Going back to my earlier example, and again, I encourage you to play around with this calculator yourself. But in this example, by overpaying £150 a month, we would save £36,800 on interest alone. 
change that to 200 and we can save another 10 grand on top of that. It also means you get to own your property a lot sooner than the term defined in your mortgage contract. Remember, overpaying means all that money goes straight to paying off your property. Going back to the previous example, overpaying by 150 pounds a month would mean we get our property three years and six months earlier. Paying 200 pounds will add another year on top of that, meaning we'll get the property four years and six months earlier compared to the original 25 year term. Another benefit is when it comes to remortgaging. Overpaying means your loan to value ratio or the amount you have to borrow from your lender will fall a lot faster and this can give you better access to better mortgage deals. Take this typical example of a mortgage for a £200,000 property. With an LTV of 90%, the initial rate of interest on our mortgage is going to be 1.79%. When it comes to remortgaging five years down the line and during that period we have made overpayments on our mortgage, we now only need a mortgage of a 75% loan to value, which gives us access to the mortgage rate of 1.25%. If we hadn't overpaid, our LTV would have been at 80%. So we would have only gotten access to mortgage products at a slightly higher rate of interest, 1.41%. This demonstrates that overpaying means your LTV goes down a lot faster, which means you are likely to get access to better rates at the time of remortgaging. Just a quick side note on this example is that it is just to demonstrate the method of overpaying and how it can benefit you when it comes to remortgaging. The rates and the mathematics behind this do vary. And lastly, and you could probably argue that this is the most important one, is the sense of joy you get when you completely own your property and you no longer have to concern yourself with mortgage payments. Not only will this drastically reduce your monthly cost, giving you the opportunity to do other things that you've always wanted to do, but given the fact that mortgages usually last for decades, there must be a huge sense of relief, happiness when it's all finally over. By the way, by no means am I talking from experience here, but this is what I imagine would happen, and I'm sure it does for those that have gone through the process themselves. Now, going back to the rule of thumb that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, remember when I said that there are going to be cases that even if the rule tells us that we shouldn't overpay our mortgage, there's still going to be cases where we should overpay regardless. And it is because of this. You can't put a price on the sense of joy, happiness and security you get when you finally own your own home. If the rule of thumb tells you it's not correct to overpay, only you can really decide if and how much is worth overpaying. Moving on to the cons. First one being is the opportunity cost of overpaying. Spending your disposable income on your mortgage means you can't use it for something else. Perhaps the money is better off when it's contributed to your investments or pensions instead, particularly in the past when mortgage rates were so low, return on investments were very likely to beat the mortgage rates that were on offer. If you look at the average return on pension funds here in the UK in the last seven years, the average rate of return was 7.34%, which is significantly more than mortgage rates during that period of time, which would have been around the 2 to 3% mark. Now that we are entering a new age of higher mortgage rates, the benefits are significantly less, but if we are looking at averages, there is still a benefit nonetheless. And lastly, when you do overpay, that money is going to be very difficult to get back, which can cause issues for you if you have any unexpected costs that creep up on you. We've already mentioned that if you do build an emergency fund, this can be a great way to try and negate this risk. So that is overpaying in a nutshell, but what should you do? In my opinion, you should only consider this as an option if you have an emergency fund in place and you don't have any other debt, like credit card debt or personal loan. Only if these are covered should you look at the rule of thumb. If the rule of thumb tells you that overpaying your mortgage is worth doing, then consider it. But if it tells you it's not worth overpaying, perhaps your investments will earn you better returns, then this is when you have to price in how that feeling of owning your property means to you. And only you can answer that, as this is very personal to each and every one of us. And also, you can still do both. You can split your extra cash across overpaying and investing. What might help is to play around with the overpayment calculator and look at how much overpaying will save you on interest and time. And from there, you might be able to figure out what works best for you. I hope that was a very helpful video. Any questions, do let me know in the comment section down below. And please do give this video a like and subscribe. Bye.